So, question number one. All right. Introduce yourself, who you are, where you come from, how old are you, all this stuff. So. In that order. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My name is uh, Luis. I am from Mexico. I'm called Mr. Maffin because I am the creator of uh, the Maffin Crew Show, right on YouTube. I live in Beijing. And what else can I possibly tell you? Um, I'm 30, and. I don't know, soon to be married. Okay. Then what is your job? What are you doing? Um, right now I'm, ac I'm actually on, on the hunt for, for a new job. But I used to do a lot of freelance stuff in China. Yeah. Translating uh, for businessmen going to go in there. Uh, they want to find sometimes products. They want to check their own or uh, check quality, all this foreign trade stuff. I've been doing that for a while, part time, freelance. Okay. Besides that, uh, I've taught English, yeah. which I'm done by the way. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it anymore. Yeah. yeah and, um, do you want to improve your life standard? I do want to improve, sure. Um, I believe we humans, we tend to. Um, perfectionate every single part of us and our lives which of course it doesn't mean the same it's not always money uh, but yeah I do want to improve most mostly for it for what it's coming I mean it's not just for me but one day I might have children so I wanna I wanna leave them somewhere or, or have them somewhere safe so they they wouldn't um, struggle that much when it's coming for them. Yeah. Then normally you have a joint and they ask you to do a smoke camp. Yeah, I do. Why? Well, it's um, probably the best way to free your mind. So I would say it's a natural. Well, it is a natural thing. Um, and um, yeah, it frees your mind. Many people are more creative after that. Besides, it doesn't make you aggressive. Yeah. The other way around, actually. Yeah, just all calm and nice yeah. and easy. Yeah. Okay. Then tell me about the best moment in your life. Oh, that's a hard one. The best moment in my life. I haven't thought about that before, but probably. Um escaping from Mexico because uh, well I went out in the first place because I was tired of my life there everything I was doing my job my life like uh, don't take it wrong family but you guys also drove me crazy a little bit friends and all I mean I mean it's about me of course I was tired myself it's not their fault of course um, but anyways that's why I decided to go out and Probably that's the best decision. This is the best decision I've ever made. Yeah. Okay. Then who's the most important person in your life? My girlfriend right now. Yeah. Yeah. I believe so. True. Why? Because I understood the hard way that even though your family is always with you, supporting you and encouraging you, they soon make their lives. For instance, my siblings. Sooner or later they're gonna do it and they're gonna belong to another family. So you gotta build your own. Otherwise you're all alone. I think. Okay. Then would you say you're an optimistic person? Optimistic person. I think I am, but I'm also realistic. Um I do believe it's possible that if you have a good attitude, a positive a positive attitude towards life things will change and things can change but still you gotta be with your foot on the ground um, not thinking that anything or everything will come to you just because you're there or just because you're entitled to or you deserved it you gotta work for it and you gotta be expecting that sometimes it's not gonna be that way 
So, I don't know. 50 50, okay. maybe. Then, are you believe in love? In love? Yeah. I do believe in love. Why? Which is overrated, though. Oh, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, like I said, there is a time in life where you realize this is just gonna be you and the family you do one day. And not because you you um you don't want to belong to your former family of course they'll be there but but the most strong um part of life would be your own family so in order to build a family i believe you should have love for that person yeah. and uh well if you don't even for papers or any other reason money which is kind of common both of of those reasons even if you do it for that like it's not gonna last you gotta love that person you're gonna wake up with that person all your life well, probably all your life yeah. and um yeah it should work that way okay then uh, tell me about the best place you had sex the best place huh <laughs> Let's see, probably a public place. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like the rush yeah. of doing something, well, forbidden. Yeah, a public place. I'm not an exhibitionist though, but probably a public place. Okay. <laughs> then what would you regret not to be have done if you die now? Oof. Um I normally don't like don't like this regret word because I believe I have taken the right decisions for me at the moment. They were convenient. Maybe those were not the best. I could have done it better, but it was convenient for me. That's why I took it. So that was the best decision for me in that moment. Um but probably not hunting my dream before I started kind of late uh, my probably didn't say that but my my background is uh, I'm a lawyer and I'm an accountant and later I got an MBA and I still didn't know back then when I was doing it that actually my passion is film editing so probably I could regret that I didn't that earlier mm -hmm. although things happen when they have to happen yeah. <laughs> and that's it. Then where you want to go in this world? Which places you want to see? Africa. Africa a lot. And I would like to end up in Europe somewhere. I got somebody told me before, uh, probably four years ago, that I was gonna end up in in the mountains or hills in Italy or something. I do have some feeling for Italy, and um, I understand some Italian. I studied some Italian, so uh, I like it probably due to my Latin roots being Mexican so uh, that might be it end okay. up in Europe then what do you think about the television programs in you know, we can say in China because you lived the last years in China well that's uh, not for foreigners I'd say <laughs> seriously like those guys I mean no offense but they haven't uh, got over the Japanese invasion and all these things like the only things you you will see in television in China is gonna be war against the Japs and um, their soap operas that also are not very appealing and um, well yeah that I, I, I don't like that or even in Mexico is the same thing like the soap opera the cheesy soap operas where the poor one becomes rich because she marries somebody and you know all this shit right. uh, one more thing is that we foreigners like probably 90% or more we don't even own a TV in China because yeah. I don't know I, I I'm actually glad that I that I did that change in my life because before I was all about TV now I'm all about internet 
So we don't need a TV, the idiot box, right? Yeah. Like I prefer internet. It's it's yeah. free, and I mean not free because it's free. You can get Wi-Fi. Not that because the the information is free, right? Yeah. Like you get anything you want. Mm, probably the most advanced or marvelous invention so far in this world. Okay. Then are you a religious person? I was born Catholic. Uh, I do believe in God. Uh, whatever people want to call it, I totally respect that. Might be a lot, might be energy, some people say. Light. I don't, I don't judge that. I just think there is a God that allows us to do stuff. And mm -hmm. from time to time, it looks down and says like, hey, you are in trouble. I might help you. We, religious people or believers, think that sometimes he's not looking, but I believe he's always looking. He just wants us to probably learn the hard way, but the, at, at the end is going to be a, a lesson, knowledge. So yeah, and I don't follow. I totally believe that the institution of church is bullshit. Mm -hmm. Probably everyone. Yeah. The institution, not religion itself. Yeah. Okay. Then are you believe in the life after death? That's a hard one. Um, I've been told that this is my first life because I'm very curious about the future. So I have been read my hand on the coffee and future tellers and all. I did it in Bolivia, I did it in Costa Rica, I did it in China, I did it in Mexico, of course. And, um, and, um, and I think there is something. I'm not totally waiting for it, but since they have told me that this is like my only life, so whatever I do here is gonna is gonna impact the, the later lives I have, I will potentially have or whatever. I think it's possible. Yeah. Mm. Hello. Should I we open? Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can we help you? Oh no, thanks. <laughs> Uh, okay, there was the life after death. Um, the yeah. best thing that you ever changed in your life? Oh, many. I'm actually grateful for China. Probably because that was like the, uh, the time I did those changes. And I have made many. One of them, and again the hard way, was uh, stopping drinking soda. Right? Because I got kidney stones. So, it was a hard way because I went to the hospital. I ended up in the hospital. So I, I changed that. The other thing, stop watching TV. And the, the other thing, discover my creative side of my brain or whatever, my heart. Because I thought I didn't have it. Yeah. But turns out I do have it. Just gotta fit it. And um, yeah, those changes, I believe. And okay. um, probably also be independent and autonomous. And that comes just by living alone. And, and abroad. Okay, mm. then where do you see yourself in three years? In three years, married, um, improving my my art, um, uh, even more free than I am now, and traveling the world. Okay. Keep on doing that, yeah. Then on the end, your lovely sentence, lovely quote. About love. No, no, that you like the most. Oh. Your favorite. I, I go one. I, 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 my sister told me one time. You can say it in Spanish or in English or whatever. I can. I, yeah, it, it was like, it, it, it could be told in, in English. Anyways, I, she told me something and that day I realized it was, it was right. So I just. I adapted it. I, I mean, I took the gist, and then I, and it, and it is that I have never had the best opportunities in my life, but I took the ones I had and make them work. Yeah, that's how I drive my life. Thank you very much. Thanks, dude. <laughs>